Hans Halberstadt came up one day. He said, oh, I tell you about Mr. Halberstadt. <laughs> he said, uh, in Germany, Mr. Halberstadt and I are in the same tournament and we fence together. He said, on guard, ready, fence, fence. I make good hit. Halberstadt parry after the touch and hit me hard. Oh. <laughs> I think it's a mistake. Mr. Halberstadt would not do that another time. <laughs> so we said to each other, I mean, good hit. Mr. Halberstadt Perry, oh, hit me so hard I have to stop. Oh. So he said, I go to my bag. I get saber number nine. He said, I'm using saber number two, <laughs> number nine. They need help getting it out of the bag. It's so heavy. <laughs> That's saber number nine. <laughs> I go back on the strip, on guard, ready fence, and Mr. Halberstadt fencing. I go, oh, oh, poo. He said, Oh, Mr. Halberstadt walking around all, <laughs> all doubled up. He said, Oh, poor Mr. Halberstadt. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is on guard, ready fence. Oh, <laughs> oh, Mr. Hopperstein, <laughs> doing it again is <laughs> a <It's> big pain. <laughs> oh, one more time, Mr. Hopperstein. <laughs> so that was that was the story of about with Miss, Mr. Hopperstein. <laughs> uh, I have to say, Hans had a lot of guts doing that in the first place. <laughs> And I also, Hans didn't mind pain at all, you know. Yeah. <laughs> kind of lived for it in a way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I would imagine any of those Hungarian guys, if you pushed them to it, they could they could take it to you as needed. Oh, uh, oh yeah, and they never did. Yeah. You know, they never did unless there was a reason. If there was a reason, oh, it wasn't worth it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It wasn't worth it. Yeah, I...